I found these strange circles or objects or whatever on Google Earth. They seemed interesting, so I made the long drive to go see what they were. So today I am hiking to some things I found on Google Earth. Looks like some circles and some uh, piles of rocks. Those are signs of ruins maybe. So here I am trying to check it out and see what it is. You might be wondering, Jeff, are you worried about snakes? <laughs> Me? Worried? <laughs> Absolutely I am. So I always have one eye on the ground, one eye forward, and one eye scouting around for ruins and mountain lions and bears and monsters and stuff. So I found this about three years ago. So I'm really excited to finally see, after all this time, what this stuff really is. And you're gonna join with me. So we're gonna do this together. And I'm almost there. I have to hit this little canyon edge and then cut right, which is your left, right? Yeah, my right, your left. And um, here we go. I know it's hard to see with the GoPro, but there's a ruin way down there. There's a couple ruins in between that middle layer right there. And of course I forgot my um, telephoto lens. Oh, there's ruins up there too. I had no idea. Those are too far for me to get to, but I'm almost there to this uh, place I wanted to get to. Okay, I'm almost to it and I can see a tower right there. Oh, there's another one over there too. So I don't know which one I've seen on Google Earth. I don't think I saw that. Maybe, did I see that one? I think I maybe did, but I'm almost there. But yeah, so there's something here. There's ruins here for sure. Okay, as a side note, so this stuff is called cryptobiotic soil and you want to avoid it at all costs. You want to not step on it. It's everywhere. You want to be careful where you step. That's why I'm kind of stepping through all these dry washes on top of rocks. Oh shoot. There's bones right there. They look very old though. So here we are, the first ruin that we can get to. So this one I saw on Google Earth ended up being this one that I'm visiting right now. Yeah, look at this. Cool. It was probably like 13, 14 feet across. Look at these big rocks they used. These big stones. Made this big nice uh, what I think is a circle ruin right here. Oh, there's a lot of water down there, which means animals come here. You know what I mean? Which means mountain lions probably come here. Everybody comes here. It's a popular spot. There's not many stones that have fallen down, you know, for, let's say I'm expecting like a, you know, a tower that's like six feet tall. There's just not the rocks here to indicate that it was that tall, unless it was purposely destroyed or whatever. Or there's tons of rocks down here, which I didn't see. Um, so maybe the top part of it was wood. While we don't know exactly what the circle ruin would have originally looked like, I imagine it could have looked similar to this ruin. Is this a road? Oh, there's like a water pump stuff, maybe? Looks like this was graded down right here, and this is even carved into. This is a spring, so if you're a rancher, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna get that water. Now I'm going up here to this thing. This circle thing that you can see on Google Earth is this thing right here. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. So this is way more intact than the first one we went to. Wow. Huh. Cool. On the ground right here, it's broken pottery. This thing right there. Wow. Look at these stones. They are meticulously placed to make this nice circle. Huh. Wow, that's really cool. So this side is, <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at that thing. So this side's about four and a half feet tall, four feet tall, and there's not much that's crumbled. So it's probably another two or three feet. So seven or eight feet tall, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. It's just ideas, guys. So you're probably wondering what were these types of structures used for? My unprofessional opinion, these tower, what I call towers are 
probably dwellings that could be used for um, storage, all the above. <laughs> but there's one more I wanna check out over here. Wow, look how tall that is. There's even like a bush growing in there right there. This is cool. So this is probably eight feet tall. Wow, well, it's filled in the middle. Probably with all the stuff falling in maybe. Wow, look at that. Oh. This could have been the doorway. So these rocks look like they have fell in here. But look how these are kind of faced and there's a kind of like an opening that's been filled now, of course, but looks like this could have been the opening of the doorway. You step into it. And if we take a closer look on the inside, it's not really clear if there was mortar used or if it's just the dirt and the sand being blown in here for after centuries and centuries. So something that's kind of sad is that, and good in a way, um, is I was checking my map and I noticed that this is a designated wilderness study area, which means you can't use drones here, which means you can't do a lot of stuff here. You can basically hike and uh, that's kind of it. So sad to say no drones on this one, even though I brought it with me. See how there's water flowing over there and then over here. This one is actually flowing. Like I can hear it dripping and falling down. This would have been a great place to be because of the water sources. You got deer and bighorn sheep up here. Um, you got all those, all that plant life up here. Then down below you have the water. Like this would be a great place to stay. So now I'm just kind of sitting here and taking in this whole canyon and just kind of imagining what this would have been like a thousand years ago, 800, 700, a thousand years ago or more. And this is why I love doing this because of the constant bugs. <laughs> because coming out here, seeing this stuff, it just, it recharges me. I mean, not to mention this stuff is really fun. Just seeing this stuff is just so exciting. It's just something I love doing and I love sharing with you. And I'm just so grateful that you have joined me on this adventure. Thanks to you all, I'm here doing this even more. So thank you, but I'm glad we can share in this together because this is, this is just really fun. Oh good, she's still here. 